So this video is the first of my Let's Practice section from my Videos for Violinist series. It explores different ways to practice the arpeggio that's found at the opening of Lalo's Symphony Espanol. Now, there are, of course, obvious ways to, to practice the, the, this arpeggio. Uh, using rhythms or working with a metronome. But I thought I would share with you some alternative possibilities, some alternative approaches to, to practicing this excerpt. So let's start with an overview of the passage. I think first I should play it in its entirety in tempo to get an idea of what needs to be worked on. All right, that done, I, I want to get a closer look, so I'm going to break it down. As it's an arpeggio, I'm going to use what I've learned practicing arpeggios, that is sort of practicing it by octaves. In this case, there are three octaves, so I will practice the first two notes of each octave. And now I will add the next note. So I will play the first three notes of each octave. So having now done that, I want to work a little on the right hand. I want to work a little on the string crossings. For this, I need to use the two notes involved in those string crossings. Why don't we start with the first one, which is the B flat to the D. I need to pay special attention to my elbow to be careful that my elbow is leading my hand. So now I will divide the run of 16 notes plus one into two parts of eight notes each minus the one. I will begin by putting a fermata on the first note of each series of eight notes. Then I'll put it on the second note of each of those eight note series, etc., etc. Thank you. 
I will do a series in which I start with a certain number of notes, in this case, two, and then add a note until I reach the end of the passage. So now I want to work on the shifts found in the excerpt. First, I want to find out where I'm going. I do this by playing the note to shift two in position, then using the fingering. Now I'm going to put the shift into context by adding the notes around the shift. It's like building outwards. This will give context to the shift that I was working on. By the way, the time I take between each attempt is to think about, to try and recognize how to adjust what I'm doing to better fix the problem. Okay, let's see what happened. Let's see if it got better. So these are a few possible alternative ways to approach this passage or other passages similar to it. You know, I really believe that practicing is about using your imagination. So, please take care and please be safe.